Hey, Justin here with 65 Drums. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a versus video between two Titans in the $2,000 to $3,000 price range. The Elisa Strike Pro SE versus the Roland TD27KV. Both these drum sets just came out. They're both brand new. So I'm gonna be playing, you know, basically footage of both of them side by side. And I'm also gonna go over all the specs and then do a rundown of the strengths and weaknesses and which drum set is best for what kind of drummer. I'm not gonna tell you what to buy. I'm just gonna lay it all out for you and then give you my opinion at the end. Both these drum sets are excellent, just in different ways. The Roland TD25 was the older version of the TD27, and this one is just much, much improved. They finally give you a 14 inch snare. They give you an 18 inch ride cymbal. It's just a big improvement. Meanwhile, on Elisus's side of things, they made a drastic improvement with the SE edition of the Elisus Strike Pro. This drum set has a much improved hi-hat that has gotten rid of all the issues I've had with older Elisus hi-hats. And also it's got a larger kick drum that just gives it added stage presence and makes it more fun to play on. So both these drum sets are a big step up from their respective companies. Here are the overall sizes of both of these drum sets. The Roland TD27 KV comes with a five inch kick drum, a 14 inch snare, all the toms are 10 inches across, you have a 12 inch hi-hat, the crash cymbals are 12 and 13 inches across, and the ride cymbal is an 18 inch ride. Meanwhile, the Elisa Strike Pro SE comes with a 20 inch kick drum, 14 inch snare, the tom sizes are 8, 10, 12, and 14 inches across. The hi-hats are 14 inches across. Actually, it's just one top piece now and a bottom controller. The crashes are all 14 inches across, and they give you one extra one versus the Roland drum set, and the ride cymbal is 16 inches across. Okay, so in round one here, the overall size of the drums and the cymbals, Elisus definitely takes the win because they give you an extra crash, they give you an extra tom, and most of the drums are very much larger than the Roland drum set except for the ride cymbal. Roland has an 18 inch ride versus the 16 inch Alesis ride. So basically if you want a very large electronic drum set with a lot of cymbals and drums, the Alesis one definitely has an advantage here. Let's move ahead to some of the module specifications. So as far as how many pads you can plug into these things, the Elisa Strike Pro SE drum module has 13 analog inputs. On the TD27, you get three digital pad inputs for a, the USB connection, plus 14 analog inputs. When you really dial it all down to what you can actually plug into the, both of these drum sets though, when you minus out like the hi-hat controller and the bell zone and stuff like that, the Elisa Strike Pro SE gives you 11 real pad inputs and the TD27 gives you 12 real pad inputs. So Roland takes a slight lead here, but in reality, both of them are practically even, especially because you can use cable splitters on both of these things, meaning that you can essentially double how many pads you can plug in 
as long as you are willing to go one zone on these drums. If you want to build out a monster drum set, you can do it with either of these drum modules as seen from this really big uh, VAD drum set powered by one Roland drum module. None of the pads are plugged in, but Roland said that it could technically support all those pads. You're good with either one of these drum sets. Moving ahead to outputs, the Elisa Strike Pro SE has eight direct outputs and right and left master outputs. The TD27 gives you only two direct outputs and then right and left master outputs. But it does give you 28 channels of audio over USB. That goes straight into your DAW. You don't need to have a giant audio interface with all these direct output lines. Just have one USB cable and you have all that inside of your drum module. And some of those channels, you can have like one channel of just like mic audio, one channel for just the drum head zone. You have all kinds of different abilities to really dial in your sound inside of your DAW. I think Roland's option is a little bit more powerful, but that's just for me personally. Some people would rather have analog outputs in order to go to front of house or something. So it kind of depends on what you're using this drum set for. The Elisa Strike Pro SE does not have a foot switch input, but the TD27 does. This isn't really a big deal, but it's nice to have because you can plug in a guitar foot switch pedal, allowing you to change between different kits just with your feet instead of having to reach over with your hand. It's nice to be able to just keep drumming and keep your hands on the drum set instead of messing around with different module stuff. The Elisa Strike Pro SE thankfully does not use a cable snake but the TD27 does use a DB25 cable connector with additional aux inputs. As far as MIDI connections go, the Elisa Strike Pro SE has MIDI in and out 5 pin and also MIDI USB. Meanwhile, the TD27 has MIDI over USB in and out ports and also MIDI over Bluetooth, which is really cool to see. So this allows you to basically play a drum track from your cell phone as you're walking around so you can hear what it sounds like front of house. It's not really something that everyone will use and you can't monitor Bluetooth MIDI in real time because of Bluetooth latency, but it's a cool feature to have. Now, as far as sample import goes, the Elisa Strike Pro SE definitely takes the advantage here because it allows you to import multi-layered round robin samples from any sample library. It can hold quite a number of samples. The TD27 also allows sample import, but just one shot samples and basically an A and B layer. You can import 500 of them, 24 minutes of mono audio or 12 minutes of stereo, but really you're kind of limited compared to what the Elisa Strike module lets you do. This is one of the most powerful features of this Elisa Strike drum module. The ability to import an entire sample library from your favorite VST, or at least part of one. Moving ahead to overall sound library size, the Elisa Strike drum module comes with 1,800 sounds. That is the biggest sound library of any drum module I've ever heard of. Meanwhile, the Roland module has a respectable 728 sounds. That would be pretty good compared to most drum modules, but Elisa's has over twice as many sounds available at your fingertips, and they keep giving you more free sounds with every new module update. They keep coming out with even better kits than what came with the drum module to begin with, which is something that Roland is not known for doing. They don't usually just give you extra free sounds. They might give you some user preset kits or something, but usually not actual extra free sounds. So this is a huge win on Elisus's part with the overall sound library. Moving ahead to Bluetooth, the Roland TD27 has Bluetooth built into the module and the Elisus one does not, unfortunately. Now my Roland TD30 does not have Bluetooth either, but I added it just by buying this like $25 dongle off of Amazon. So it's easy to add Bluetooth to any module, but it's really nice to have it built into your module. Back when I had my Roland TD17 drum module, it was a feature that I really, really liked. Now to be clear, this is just Bluetooth for connecting to your cell phone or connecting to like an iPad to use the MIDI option over Bluetooth, but not to headphones because with headphones, Bluetooth has way too much latency for that sort of thing. You only wanna use this for basically connecting to your cell phone to play songs off of YouTube or Spotify. Okay, let's move ahead to module effects. The Strike Pro gives you reverb, EQ, compression, and overall just 17 types of effects to control your sound inside of the module. The Roland TD27 gives you 30 effect types over three systems. You got overhead mic simulator, you have a room simulator, you got reverb, EQ, and compression for each pad, and then also a master EQ and compression as well on top of all that. Moving on to sound editing options, the Elisa Strike Pro unfortunately is a little bit limited here. 
All you have is basic tuning and decay options. Meanwhile, the Roland TD27 gives you tuning for all the drums and cymbals. You get muffling adjustments, snare strainer adjustments. You can control the overtone of the drums, shell depth, head type. You get a visual representation of the signal chain. This is what Roland is very, very good at. So if you wanna have a lot of control over your sound, Roland is the way. But if you wanna just have better sounds overall, Elisis is the way, that's my opinion. So here are the pros and cons of the Roland TD27 KV overall. So the TD27 KV on the good side has excellent triggering. That's one of the best things about the drum set. It is silky smooth to play this because of how good it triggers and the incredible low latency of Roland drum modules. It also has a larger ride cymbal that is much better overall. They have better cymbals on the Roland drum set. The module has way more editing options. That's the other main strength of this drum set. Bluetooth is cool. And finally, the Roland T27 KV has a better resell value. Most of the time when you take an equivalent Roland drum set and an equivalent Elisis drum set, you try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, LetGo, or Craigslist, you're gonna get more for the Roland drum set. People are just willing to pay more for a used Roland module, a used Roland symbol, versus an equivalent Elisis symbol or an equivalent Elisis drum module. I also had a really fun time playing this drum set and I didn't really have to mess with any of the different trigger settings. I play the Elisa Strike Pro SE set up by Elisis themselves and also the Roland TD27 KV set up by Roland people themselves. The Roland drum set just played perfectly out of the box, no real setting adjustments needed, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, obviously. Here are some of the cons when it comes to the TD27 KV. It has a weaker stage presence. This thing does not look impressive at all. It's really, really fun to play this thing, but when you see it from a distance, it's not really that interesting to look at. It's got smaller toms. It's got a very, very small kick drum compared to the Elisis one. Overall sound quality of this is not that great to me. It's fun. It's really fun to play and everything, but I would not put this on an album or anything. I wouldn't say this is one of the best sounding modules in the industry. Elisis just has it beat completely. It also has half the sounds of the Elisis drum module 
and you're not gonna get any more free sounds. Elisis keeps giving you free kits. Every new update, there's another free kit or five. But Roland never does that sort of thing. This also has less drums and cymbals. You get two crashes instead of three, and you get three toms instead of four. And finally, you're gonna pay more for all this. It's $500 more at $3,000, versus $2,500 for the Elisis drum set. Overall, I still really, really like this drum set, but it's a harder sell because it's more expensive and you get less drums and the sound quality isn't quite as high. What Roland is really banking with on this drum set is the fact that you get an incredible snare, an incredible ride cymbal, the two digital pads are awesome, and they're also banking on the fact that uh, they have excellent build quality. Most of their stuff is well known to last for a long time, and there's just like a comfort in buying a Roland drum set. For me personally, I can trust it a little bit more. Not to say that I've never had a Roland pad break on me, that has happened before, but overall, it's usually like a smaller drum set for more money. And that's becoming a harder and harder pill to swallow for the e-drum community lately. Still a great drum set, just with some caveats. All right, let's move ahead to the pros and cons for the Elisa Strike Pro SE. You get more drums and cymbals, as we talked about. It's a just bigger, bigger, more expansive drum set when you sit down to play it. It was like you bought a drum set and they upgraded it for you already. You don't need to buy any more drums or cymbals, it's already upgraded for most people out there. The larger kick drum is a really important upgrade for this drum set because it adds to the overall stage presence if you do play this live occasionally and also just makes it feel more acoustic-like. It's weighty. Also, I like the fact that the sounds are better, to me. Of course, everyone will have different opinions on this, but the Elisa Strike Pro has gotten so good with all the new sound updates and all the extra kits that are higher quality than the pre-built ones that I feel like it's not really a contest anymore. The Elisis module just sounds just outright better to me personally. Not all the sounds are better. I wanna be clear about that. Most of the kits and the sounds are not good, but the kits that are good inside of the module are so good that they make up for all the crappy ones. And so I, I feel like the sound quality here really tips towards Elisis in this comparison. Of course, that's just my opinion. Make up your own mind about that point. This is also a personal preference, but I actually like the new Elisis drum heads more than the Roland ones. I used to really love the Roland drum heads, but I've noticed, as many people have talked about the Roland drum heads, they're just very bouncy. People have compared them to tennis rackets. They're very, very high quality. They last for a very long time, but they're kind of bouncy. I like these Elisis ones because your stick kind of sinks into them a little bit. It just feels a little bit better. I like these new white mesh drum heads that they have. They're actually new. They're not just with a white coat of paint on them. They're actually physically different mesh drum heads than on their previous drum sets. This might sound kind of basic, but it's also nice to have a color screen on a drum module. It's just something that everybody should have by now, but most drum modules, and also Roland, are using like one of those lower end like screens from the 80s. I feel like everybody should have color screens. It's nice to see on this drum module. But of course, this drum set is not perfect either, so here are some of the downsides of buying the Elisa Strike Pro SE. First is that triggering is not as smooth as Roland drum modules. There's a couple of different reasons for this. First of all, the entire like trigger structure on the internals of the pads is much, much more advanced on the TD27 KV, especially on the ride cymbal and the snare. What they're doing there is like a whole light year ahead of what this Elisa's drum set is doing, which is a lot more basic. It gets the job done, but it's not quite as advanced. And also probably some of the stuff uh, like the algorithms instead of the module that predict what's a real hit versus what's an aftershock hit is a little bit more advanced on the Roland module side of things too. I'm not saying this is an unplayable drum set. It's a very, very fun drum set to play, but it's just not as perfect as the Roland drum set. Also, the average Roland drum module has about half the latency of the average Elisis drum module, which adds to the fluid feeling of playing a Roland drum set. Not saying that makes it worth buying in every single case over an Elisis drum module. I'm just laying out some of the things Roland does a little bit better, because this is the con section. And finally, the one last thing the Roland drum set has over the Elisis drum set is having an 18 inch ride symbol versus the 16 inch ride on the Elisa Strike Pro SE. You know, it's really hard to think of negative things about the Elisa Strike Pro SE because it does so many things right. They're trying to create a Roland TD50 KV at $2,500. They had to sacrifice some things, but they got a lot of things right. And because this is their second go at it, this is basically the 2.0 version of the Elisa Strike Pro the SE version, special edition, they really have fixed a lot of my issues that I used to have with the Elisa Strike line and have made it a very, very enjoyable experience to sit down and play one of these kits. All right, so now I'm gonna give you my opinion of between these two drum sets, which is the better overall kit. For me personally, I would have to say that Elisa probably pulls ahead in this specific case. Not because the TD27KV is a bad drum set, 
but just because Alesis knocked it out of the park with so many things. You get bigger drums, you get better sounds, and those two things will move the needle for the average drummer. So for most people out there, I feel like the Alesis Strike Pro SE is the better buy. For other people, the TD27 will be a great buy as well, but for most people, I feel like the Elisa Strike Pro SE will be the better option. If you wanna buy either of these drum sets, I have Amazon affiliate links to them down in the description below. Buying through those does not cost you anything and it helps support the channel. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you especially to the people on Patreon who helped make this channel possible. And I'll see you guys in a few.